On Wednesday, Obama called for reinstating the ban on assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition magazines, expanding background checks for gun buyers, improving the delivery of mental health services, and allowing schools to hire up to a thousand school resource officers and counselors. Obama presented his plan alongside Vice President Joe Biden, who headed the White House task force appointed after Newtown. In the month since 20 precious children and six brave adults were violently taken from us at Sandy Hook Elementary, more than 900 of our fellow Americans have reportedly died at the end of a gun. 900 in the past month. And every day we wait, that number will keep growing. So I'm putting forward a specific set of proposals based on the work of Joe's task force. And in the days ahead, I intend to use whatever weight this office holds to make them a reality. The White House plan is expected to meet stiff resistance from House Republicans, even some Senate Democrats in states with loose restrictions on firearms. In a statement, the National Rifle Association vowed to challenge Obama with what it called, quote, the fight of the century. In his remarks, Obama called on the American people to help him push gun control through Congress. This will not happen unless the American people demand it. If parents and teachers, police officers and pastors, if hunters and sportsmen, if responsible gun owners, if Americans of every background stand up and say, enough, we've suffered too much pain and care too much about our children to allow this to continue, then change will, change will come. In a statement, the nation's leading gun control advocacy group, the Brady Campaign to Prevent Gun Violence, endorsed the plan, saying the White House has exhibited, quote, tremendous leadership in its comprehensive policy recommendations to address gun violence. The American Civil Liberties Union, meanwhile, expressed concern about Obama's call for more police officers in schools, saying, quote, we fear neutral-sounding safety policies, such as putting more cops in schools, will lead to the over-incarceration of school-age children, especially students of color and students with disabilities, who are disproportionately arrested and prosecuted for issues that would normally be handled by school administrators.